Show yourself. Oh, it's a big fish. That's a bigger common carp. Oh. Yeah, this is, I think this is a big fish of the day so far. Come on, gotcha. in here yeah yep fish on swam right in toward me right here on the bank I can't go out very far that's gonna be it as far as I can go out oh yeah Common carp just saw his head come up. I'm gonna try to be. Yeah. As I say, I'm gonna try to be sneaky and just kind of pull the fish over top of where the net is and then just lift up because the water is so dirty the fish can't see the net. Whoa! That was a vicious tail slap. I don't think this is a dink. Yeah, ferocious. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not a dink at all. It's a real good fish. Yeah, get in here. It's a real good fish. Get in here. Okay. Get in there. Yeah, real good fish to start in the morning. It's probably a 10 pound fish. I'm not gonna weigh them. As you can see, I'm fishing in the river this morning. It's early. We got hot, hot heat wave uh, all week this week. 100 plus temps. So I'm gonna be fishing early mornings all week. Great start to the morning. I'll put this fish back and I'll show you what uh, what baits I'm using this morning. It's gonna be all net releases because this is super soft mud here. It's as far as it's close to the water as I can get without sinking in. <clears throat> there you go. See you later. Yeah, it's about 10 after 7. I've been here about. 40 minutes or so, or maybe longer, I don't remember exactly what time I got here. I'm using spicy tiger nuts for the hook bait today. These are just um, tiger nuts that I boiled and uh, rehydrated, and then uh, they're just soaking in a mixture of um, sriracha sauce and water. It's just kind of a runny, hot, spicy sauce mix. Do carp like spicy things? No, I don't think they do, really. I don't think they like it. But it's a, it's a strong enough flavor that it gets their attention and gets them to uh, suck it up into their mouth to see if it's food or not. And uh, that's all we're doing here with these all these goofy flavors that people use. 
just to get in the fish's curiosity enough to suck that hook into their mouth. And by the time they do that, it's all over. This pack bait is a mix of old fashioned oats, sweet feed pellets, a can of corn, and a can of cream corn, and some vanilla. I made this uh, last night ahead of time. So, uh, you know, all the sweet feed pellets have uh, broken down. They're more into a kind of a powdery kind of consistency, like a ground bait. But the bait is probably one of the least important aspects of my fishing today. Most important aspect is time of day. So in the dog days of summer, late August, the days are ridiculously hot. And uh, the, the fish don't like to be out active during this uh, intense heat either. The water is, gets up into the upper 80s. And just like us, when it's hot outside, we're not comfortable. They're not comfortable either. So they just hide out during the day. And that varies by season, right? Because uh, in early spring, when the water's cold, I'll be fishing the opposite. I'll be trying to fish in the warmest parts of the day. This bait is going upstream a little bit. The current is slow enough that uh, it's not going to move my bait. I got three ounces of lead on there and uh, the pack bait. It's not, the current's only one or two miles an hour, I think. And I was in the middle of uh, <clears throat> reeling in and rebaiting when that fish hit. So I'm going to finish doing that. And I like to reel in and uh, rebait and recast about every hour on average. That kind of varies depending on uh, the conditions and where I'm fishing and you know what, what's going on. But about every hour. And the main reason for uh, casting out and rebaiting every hour is not so much the bait usually like maybe in the first couple hours that i'm fishing i do want to you know get some bait out there and get some little piles of bait out there to be uh, attractive for the fish when, if they come in the area but uh, the main reason is to uh, reel it in and check to make sure the rig isn't uh, tangled or that some uh, turtle or some other nuisance fish hasn't uh, somehow removed my hook bait or messed with it enough that uh, somehow there's, the rig is messed up that's that's the main reason I mean, have you ever had a time when you've, uh, I don't know, been soaking a bait? Doesn't matter what kind of fish you're going after, but you've been soaking a bait for a long period of time. And then you reel it in to go home or whatever, and you see that your rig is tangled, and it's probably been tangled the whole time. Yeah, that's no good. I don't get tangled rigs very often. My rig is set up in a way that it doesn't really get tangled by itself, but uh, every once in a while some nuisance fish or some other animal in there will do something to it and uh, get it tangled up, and that's why I check every hour. But with a river like this with flowing water, I'll probably do that every half an hour, really, because the bait is, with the current, the bait is getting stripped off of the rig, uh, obviously more quickly than it would if there's no current. So. Uh, about every half an hour I'm, I've been doing here at the river just and the replenishing the bait it becomes more of a factor uh, with flowing water but off to a good start this morning hope the, hope the trend continues that was pretty quick that was real quick. Less than five minutes since I rebated this one. I don't think this is a cart. Channel cap. Pretty nice one too. Knock it off. Nothing will mess up a hook quicker than the channel cap. I'll have to check that. It'd be a good frying pan fish. I just had catfish for dinner last night. Pretty skinny. See ya. I gotta wash the catfish slime off before I grab that rod. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. That feels more like a cart. This 
fish is just coasting in towards me. I'm going to try to be sneaky and just bring him directly into the net without much of a fight here. I don't think this fish knows what's going on yet. Oh, there he saw me. He saw me. Now he knows what's going on. Some kind of mammals messing with him. Yeah, dang mammals. Got him. Scooped him. Yeah, a little rambunctious fish, five pound fish. Back in the water he goes. You get to go off the high dive. There you go. See ya. Yeah, you gotta remember to check that hook from catfish. Catfish don't really damage it, but taking it out of a catfish's tough mouth, oftentimes I'll bend a hook. This looks all right, definitely sharp. Back in that same spot. Sort of. <laughs> Tiger nuts did not survive the fight on that most recent fish. The main reason that I like Tiger nuts so much is their durability, but they're not uh, they're not bulletproof or anything like that, but they're vastly more durable than something like sweet corn uh, that you're just guaranteed to have to replace every single time. has some good weight. Of course he is out in the current. This fish is out in the middle of the river. The sun just popped up over the trees and starting its daily baking of the earth on this side of the earth. This has not been uh, much of a fight here. Just wait. Might be a grass carp. They tend to fight in real short bursts they'll, they'll just be lethargic for a long time and then just all of a sudden thrash like a maniac for uh, a few seconds and then go back to being a dead weight again Let's see he's coming he's right here right next to the bank here whatever it is oh uh, I didn't catch a glimpse at all whatever it was it was fast took off like a bolt of lightning. This can be sneaky again. I know I keep saying that. It doesn't it never works. <laughs> There's no being sneaky when I've got a hook jabbed into their mouth. Swam right into the net. Yeah, this is good fish. Thick body on this fish. Eight, nine pounds, I'm guessing. Really good fight. Took a long time. I'm sure I'll cut most of that out of the video. Yeah, real good fish. Nice, sturdy fish. Back in the water. Pretty steady action this morning. Not, I wouldn't say it's non-stop fast action or anything three fish in about an uh, hour and a half, I think, which is good because I didn't really feel like uh, getting a cardiovascular workout with my fishing this morning. I'll do that later. Okay, did he make it? Yeah, he's out of the net. Can't even see if he swims out of the net because the water's so dirty.
Yeah. Got fish on, fish on. Guess when that happens, you have to say it twice and roll like that. Fish on, fish on. This is that same rod that the last uh, fish came on. Put this bait out in the middle of the river. Uh, and it's the middle of the river, but it's not where the main, the, the main part of the current is. The center of the river is not where the current is. The current is mostly on the other side, so. What do we got here? Hmm. I think that was common carp. Okay, that is a dink. Officially caught a dink. Nothing against small fish. <coughs> yeah, nothing against small fish. Okay, but they just do this more than the bigger ones do. Ah, come on, dude. Amazing how a three pound fish can be more difficult to deal with than a 15 pounder. See ya, good riddance. <laughs> Got a reluctant fish here out in the middle of the river, same rod. Trying to clean off the camera because that little, ooh, that little dink fish splattered some stuff on the camera lens. I guess I need to check those. Uh, ooh, I guess I need to check those other two baits after this because this is the third fish on this line. And those other two baits have just been sitting there. All right, here it's right here. Let's see you. No. All right, he got away, probably for the best. It was a small fish again. Let's see what's going on with this line. Oh, there's a fish on it. I thought I saw a little movement in the line while I was rebaiting. There's a fish hooked and just sitting there. I guess that's one thing. Uh, one reason to check your rig every hour or two because <laughs> you're not going to catch a fish if there's already a fish on there <laughs> show yourself oh it's a big fish that's a bigger common carp oh This is, I think this is a big fish of the day so far. Come on, gotcha. Yeah, now he's not quite so calm. Yeah, big fish of the day, eh, maybe. Probably closer to that first one. I give it about 10 pounds, I guess. Hard fight, this fish was rambunctious on the bank. This must be the uh, relative of that little one that uh, thrashed the crap out of me. Uh, a little bit ago but yeah some pretty steady action not fast but steady I love it back in the water so yeah this fish was uh, just sitting there hooked for who knows how long not didn't go for a run didn't uh, pull enough to make the bells jingle or anything see you later yeah, all that thrashing around that fish that big fish just did I ended up having, I just cut my line because I was having trouble getting the hook out and fish kept thrashing. So I just cut the line to uh, just get that over with. I'm going to put a new hook on, retie.
weird because I literally just finished my uh, little protein bar for breakfast and uh, said to myself, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready for the big fish now. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if this is a big one though. Got him. Got him. Not a super dink, but uh, definitely a toddler. Frisky one at that. What is this? Fish six? I think it's six. If I don't count that catfish. If you count the catfish, it might be seven. Pretty good morning. Pretty just steady action. About 15, 20 minutes between bites usually. I'm keeping this guy's eyes covered because uh, it's frisky. Back in the water. Well, let's see. Backwards dive, maybe? A little spin. There you go. See ya. This is a real thing. This is a real fish. Yep. That's a real fish. Finally got one on the, on the one that's just right next to the bank down there. Oh! Broke the service. Did you see that? My hand was probably in the way. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, got off. Check the hook here. Ouch. That's still needle sharp. Must just been a bad hook set. That just happens sometimes. It's no point in trying to analyze it to make any changes or anything. It's just a part of fishing. Sometimes you lose fish. Nothing you can do about it. It's not an exact science. Sometimes it's easy to focus on the fish that you lost and forget about the other seven fish that I landed today. I'm not going to start uh, spending time obsessing about the fish that I lost and completely ignore the fact that I just landed seven fish earlier. <laughs> There's no problem. It just happens. I'm going to put this one right back, right along the bank there, probably 10, 15 feet off the shoreline down there. That's where I had this and that's where I'm going to put it. Really shallow there, foot or two of water. So you got a runner. Runner, runner. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna quit today. It's about quarter to nine right now and the wind kind of picked up. And so there's a breeze that's kind of keeping me reasonably cool. I think I'm just gonna stay until it gets hot enough where I can't stand it anymore. Almost had him. Ah, splashed me. Okay. I think I'm done fighting with dinks on the mat today. I'm just going to release them right here next to the water. Get that hook out. Yeah, little bitty fish, three, four pounds. So long, youngster. See ya. Oh, he bumped into the net as he swam away. <laughs> Feels like it might be a better fish. I hope. Down to the bank I go. Into the sun glare I look. Where's my fish? Right next to the bank down there. Right next to the bank. Man, he's right in front of me. Show yourself. I didn't catch anything there. Didn't see him. I know there's a lot more than common carp in this river, but that's, uh, that's all it's biting this morning. Catfish, I guess. Hey, it's a good fish. Yeah, I just saw a pretty big tail come up. I think it's a pretty good fish. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, not a bad fish. Five, six pounds. Yeah, not a bad fish. Five, six pounds. Good stuff. See ya. Nice dive. Yeah, I mean, just to be catching fish is good. I'm not really complaining, but uh, just really in the mood to, to land a big fish this morning. If I could just get one. One big fish, 15 pounds or more, that would just top off this already excellent morning. Well, the fish, I think, have called it quits for the day, and I'm going to do the same. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Mm -hmm.